Welcome to It's All About Rope. These short, single-issue informational bulletins are designed to help you get the most from your high-performance ropes. Winding Rope on a Winch For the best performance from your high-performance synthetic fiber ropes in winching applications, it is important to understand the proper technique for winding the rope onto the winch drum. The attaching method, tension applied, and winding method all play an important role in the rope's performance and service life. Samson recommends the following when installing rope on a winch drum. Attaching and tensioning. Attach the end of the rope to the winch drum using the fittings and instructions supplied by the manufacturer. Installation for split drum winches. When determining the length of rope to be installed, allow enough rope that when working, there is always a minimum of eight wraps on the working side of the winch drum. This ensures that the connection point of the rope to the drum does not undergo a load. For single drum winches, when determining the length of rope to be installed, allow enough rope that, at full extension, there is always a minimum of two full layers of wraps on the winch drum. This ensures that the connection point of the rope to the drum does not undergo a load. When installing lines on a winch drum, always use proper tension. Lines should be installed with a minimum load of 100 to 200 pounds or 45 to 90 kilograms on at least the first four layers of rope on the drum. For new rope installations, install as many wraps as possible under the suggested tension. This will minimize wraps from diving down or bearing into lower layers. As the rope is used, periodic retensioning should be performed at the same load recommended for new installations to keep the tension consistent and avoid bearing wraps between layers. There are two methods to properly install rope on a winch. Level Winding Using the proper amount of tension, wind the rope evenly across the drum from flange to flange. The next layer should follow the valley between turns on the previous layer. Follow this pattern for all layers, each layer slightly offset from the one below. The second method is cross winding. Cross winding helps avoid the rope's tendency to dive into the previous layers. Start with two layers level wound onto the drum using the proper tension. The first cross. At the end of the second layer, pull the rope across the drum quickly. The second cross. At the flange, allow the rope to wind one full turn, then pull the rope across the drum in the opposite direction from the first cross. The rope should cross near the middle of the drum. The cross acts as a barrier to the subsequent turns from bearing into the layers below. Level Layers after the cross, follow with two more layers of level winding, then perform another cross. This pattern is repeated until the length of rope is fully spooled onto the winch drum. Thank you for watching It's All About Rope. Samson has a library of technical resources that can be accessed at samsonrope.com.